Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. I really enjoy reading all your comments and thank you very much for doing that. Uh, not just because it's pretty much my only social contact these days, uh, but because uh, you guys are giving me a bunch of interesting ideas. Ideas that I can actually do in the next little while that get around the obvious restrictions I have and not being able to get anything in. And that's actually really cool and definitely thank you very much for that. And that kind of leads into what I'm trying to do here today. Now, what I want to do for this, uh, like actually to get it to work properly, uh, requires something I need to buy. Now, there was one way I could have done this uh, that kind of mimic it a bit, and it's probably what I should have done. But I'm in the frame of mind lately that I should try and not use up too much material. It's, I'm trying to not necessarily just take shortcuts, but trying to preserve what I have left. And to do the other thing I want to do, I'd have to cut the top off of this and then build a, no, a whole new top assembly. And I really didn't want to do that. Uh, well, it, it was I didn't think it was really going to be necessary. Because, I mean, the top piece here is actually uh, put together reasonably well. And it didn't take too much effort to cut four small pieces and then uh, cut them at... Uh, 45 degrees on each of those angles. I mean, it was pretty easy. You can see that one part I just pointed out there. I did crack it because I was making it a little bit too tight. And that kind of gets into the problem of acrylic. First off, it's this is extruded acrylic, except the ones in the paper that you see. That's actually a cast. And I went with a cast in this because one of these pieces I really do have to machine quite a bit. Like this one right here. And I wanted to make sure it would hold up. And obviously you can't really uh, put too much force on it, and I was trying to do that, and it, it cracked. So that is not really a big issue, because I can just weld it back together. But the biggest problem with acrylic is if you cut all the pieces at the same time and assemble something, uh, it's great. The, it, the methylene chloride uh, wicks through, it seals properly, and it's all good. But if you build something like I've done here, and then you try to add on, especially something that's internal like these pieces, you end up with a bunch of issues. Uh, not so much like cracking. I mean, that's that was just me being a little too close in tolerances. Uh, but you end up with other things coming up. And I'm going to show you a couple of them here as we go along. The first issue that cropped up was this fitting piece that I put together. As I said, this is cast acrylic, so it's harder than extruded. But after I drilled the hole through it, uh, the wall thickness is actually not sufficient for it not to bow. So what I had to do is I put it in a vise so I can uh, tighten the fitting down. But that little extra bit of pressure on it caused it to bow not a lot, like about 10 thousandths of an inch. But it's enough that it won't fit into any of the holes anymore. And that's what I'm doing here right now. So this, I mean, I don't understand it. They're all slightly different, that's why I had them all separated. Because when I first made this, I wasn't building it in, with any kind of tolerances as far as having to fit anything else on. I was just putting it together. Uh, so here you go. Can, and right now, especially this side here, you can see the bit of a rock there, and that is that is the bow. So like the first assembly for the first part, I mean, they're off by a little bit. It's not a lot. I mean, I put the micrometer on it, it's only about a hundredth of an inch. A total difference between all of them, but that's an awful lot for acrylic. Now the easy fix, of course, for this is I'm just going to mount this in the milling machine and just shave off the bow, and then it'll fit properly. But that's just kind of how uh, the rest of this is going to go. Uh, as I've said many times, when you're trying to weld acrylic together, when you get that nice, even wicking, like you saw in the last video, that is when it is working the best. That is when you know after it's all done, you're going to have a good seal on it. Uh, if you have to add extra, like I'm going to do here in a few minutes, after the methylene chloride evaporates, you end up with gaps. And that's just simply nothing you can get around. It's just the way it is. And that is the problem. Trying to fit uh, a new piece into existing pieces and then so at this point I realized well 
I'm going to put it together anyway. I want to see if this is going to work and let's just do it. And I, what I'll have to do obviously anyway in the long term is I'll have to cut the top off of this and then properly uh, assemble a new top for it. So uh, the rest of this video is just going to be me trying to jury rig this together. And I will, I did get a result. And actually there's something interesting in that result. So uh, stay tuned for that. So as I said at the beginning of this video, I have a bunch of interesting ideas, and one of them is going to be based off of last uh, Wednesday's video um, for obviously a build for a filter for the square lift stack. And that's actually going to be kind of cool. I actually came up with an interesting uh, variation on what someone has suggested, and I'm going to put that together for next week. Another interesting thing has come up, and that is Sunday's video with uh, the filter comparisons. It is actually a dead heat. Uh, there's just as many for the hob as it is for the matten filter. So I've decided to do something even different for that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick two completely new filters. And we're going to start this process again. And then in a week or two, when we start getting down to uh, closer to running out of filters, I will reintroduce each of those two filters and they'll go up with the, whatever the new champion is and we'll see in the end if they can actually hang on to that which is uh it was probably the fairest way of doing this and like i said i just wanted to i didn't want to just pick one and then eliminate one uh for when it was like i said when it was actually even and then another idea i have for a build which i can't really spoil too much for is an extension on something i've already done and it's actually a really cool idea and again, it was, it was from a comment. And uh, like I said, thank you very much for these. I mean, <laughs> this is uh, what I really look forward to in the sense that, uh, I mean, it's new stuff. It's things that you guys uh, are supplying. So it's stuff that you'll be interested in seeing. And always, like I said, I've said this in pretty much every video, uh, leave lots of comments and let me know what you think. And uh, like I said, we'll muddle through this restricted period and hopefully we'll get back to uh, some sort of normalcy at some point where I can get materials in and then a lot of those projects that I don't hold I will try to remember to get around to them and eventually we'll get to those too. So I'm not going to show you too much more of this uh, this is just me uh, at this point realizing especially when watch this piece here uh, as I put the methylene chloride in there you can you can see that gap that little bit there and also the little squirt that came off the side because i was trying to put in too much that's the reason why this is going to leak but it's not really that important all i want to do is see if i get enough flow out of the main nozzle to make this worthwhile the other reason i have for showing you this video uh, i want to show you the stuff that doesn't work as well i mean there are going to be times when i'm going to put something together because uh, I have a cool idea or something I wanted to try out and, well, it just doesn't work. I mean, that happens a lot with DIY, especially when you're trying to build new things that uh, most people don't bother with. Uh, so there's going to be times when it's just not going to work and you guys are going to get to see that stuff too. Uh, hopefully that way you just don't make the same mistakes I did. And in this particular case, don't try to add on to an existing acrylic uh, build, especially internal welds like this, because... Uh, you just can't seal it properly. So we're going to flip over now to me uh, turning this on, and we're going to get to actually one very interesting result, one that actually uh, means something as far as this going forward, which is kind of uh, kind of cool. So here we go. I got it hooked up, and it's all welded and held in place and everything. I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> First thing you'll notice is, yes, the, it leaks everywhere. But... I want you to watch right by where uh, the fitting goes in for the drill. This is the important part. I mean, it does, it pumps water. I mean, that's fine, so that's great. But you'll notice there's water that comes out right at the top, and that's because uh, there's a fairly loose fit there. There's uh, a 32nd of an inch uh, gap around that, and you can see water spraying out there. So that does affect how this is going to uh, influence it going forward. Even if I seal off everything else, uh, there is still going to be some water that's going to go out when I'm using it at high speed. 
Now, Archimedes screws aren't supposed to be worked at high speed, uh, so that's not a problem. So going forward, this is going to have to wait until I can get in more tube and I can make this longer. And then, of course, uh, we can work on uh, getting it to work the way it's supposed to at a lower RPM and pump you know, like a reasonable amount of water instead of <laughs> cranking up the drill and having it spray everywhere. So anyway, that's my update on the Archimedes screw. I do kind of like it. Uh, long term, like getting something for a filter build, uh, it'll come down to like I said, how long the silliness lasts and uh, whether or not I can get the parts I need. And then of course, at that point in time, uh, once all the restrictions start uh, loosening up, uh, will I have the time to actually build something that's you know two feet long, which is pretty much what this needs. Uh, so that we'll have to all wait for that. But in the interim, I have some interesting videos coming up. And as always, if you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe and leave tons of comments. And as I will see you in the next video. And bye for now.